Alright guys, we here out there top eight. We have Dal Foster who was six seat um, going to the top eight. Uh, this is the deck that he used. Uh, Dragons and the card counts out 41. So uh, tell me about the card choices and uh, it, uh, most of the cards helped you out uh, from any alteration that you decided that you needed. All right. Um, this is obviously uh, you gotta kind of see everything. It's based off a CDH, CDH's deck and Earth Powers deck. Okay. Um, the main difference that I had in there was I know uh, I watched the video CDH and posted. He said he would he would change. I think he ran three PPRs um, and he would change that to two and add in a Storm Spark. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of testing on TCO and different things, a lot of aggro decks. I thought there was gonna be more aggro decks here. It was pretty much ruled by. Uh, Fire nature darkness. So that sucked. Uh, I had this inkling in the back of my mind uh, today that I needed to take out this card that I checked in, Twinkie and Maelstrom, and I needed to run Blaze Helix, I, I believe is a card. Okay. A six card that banishes uh, all blockers, yeah. or you can tap and tap. And I kept on saying, Dow, you can play this, Dow, you can play this. But in testing, he did so well against aggro decks, I, I expected more Mega Bug decks. Um, yeah. So the two Mega Bug deck matches, matches up, I did have. He did serious work, and then just Harold with the Jump Jets, of course, did a lot of work. Um, I can lock down a Queen with PPR. Um, I could spin somebody with Blinder Beetle Prime after I played Twin Cannon or General and then run over them. Okay. Run over the Hive Queen with PPR. Um, I'll just kind of go card by card. Uh, of course, we have Rang, Cloud Kraken, great two drop. Super important today. I played a Blurple in the last round, round five, to qualify for top eight. Did serious work. Um, it was so tempo based that he had to keep on bone blading him instead of one of my herbs. Mm -hmm. And so that, that really helped me out a lot. Um, but it did a lot of work. Of course, it's a cheap Evo for Blinder Beetle Prime. Uh, but another great combo is with any of my little guys, especially Metal Max. Uh, I could draw Twin Cannon Maelstrom. This guy was pretty good all day. He wasn't my MVP, but probably runner up. Um, they would play Major Oak, clean my board. I could play Metal Max. Um, something else would happen, Major O would claim my board again. I have one like Metal Max in, uh, or even a Lux, and I could trade once I had uh, Sky Crusher in, or if I had Twin Cannon in, I could actually swing over him and kill Major O. And so that was really interesting seeing some expressions today, because Major O was played like crazy. Um, and of course, Nick's for card draw is pretty self explanatory. Uh, Lux at one. Of course, Metal Max, he's the bait, he can also swing. Keeper of Laws did work all day. Um, especially against the control decks, I just try to get him out and just start swinging. And I usually follow it up with a Psychic Predator or Lyra or General to try to keep my card draw going as much as possible. Uh, so I can mana and just keep on playing stuff and bouncing Andromeda or locking down Cassiopeia. There's a lot of Cassiopeia today. Twin Cannon Maelstrom, like I said, he did serious work against Purple, really. I played him off of Nyx, and so I got to draw a card, and then Nyx was able to kill, like, a cool, uh, Cool reef, like the one that three drop cyber lore that lets you look at your shield, so that was yeah. sweet. And then, of course, Lyra, self expanse, where I lost that everything. General Sky Crusher, this is the MVP today. If I can do anything, I'd increase this to three. This guy did so much work. So, would you say you might take out Twin Cannon Maelstrom for yeah, General Sky Crusher? Yeah, probably take out Twin Cannon for General, and then I would probably add a blaze, a blaze and put it at 42. Because okay. I, I could have just I ran up against Hayden Dex, and once they got out, it was like, okay, I got two Storm Sparks and Mana, ah, and I had to, to keep up with them because of their boost, and I just had to hold on to the third and try to get board presence, you know? I mean, so, like, you did say that you took out one PPR for a Storm Spark. Would you might want to take out the Storm Spark for the Blaze Helix to try to keep out the same card yeah, count? Yeah, definitely. Um, and I know, I can't remember who posted the video, but basically they were talking about how Blaze Helix, Storm Spark Blast is basically Blaze Helix, except it doesn't destroy their cards, but it does have the Shield Blast effect on it. So that was the final thing that I went with this, was because there was a couple times in top eight against Ryan Bishop, great player by the way. I don't think he made any play mistakes. Uh, <laughs> He he hit my Storm Sparks twice, and I was almost able to come back. I got him down to one shield in the first game, and I was almost able, but he just had he just had too much control. And like I said, he didn't make any play mistakes. Uh, Andromeda, of course, so stands for Dragon Knight, did a lot of work too. Mm -hmm. Evil, this is an overlook card. It's got fast attack, double breaker. Of course, you get him with him, General Sky Crash, or even Twin Cannon, and all of a sudden, they're Andromeda. You know, you, you play control, and on round 
pretend that you know drop the cast yourself. So they swing up their Andromeda then to, to kill one of your guys. You know, yeah. General Skycaster, like you know, Lyra, whoever they've tapped down. And then you can immediately play him. And if you have a twin or a general on board, then you can kill their, you know, you can kill their Andromeda. Uh, Piercing Judgment did a ton of work today. Jump Jets did work as usual. Uh, this was pretty good. This gave me a little bit of card draw. General Finbar did major work today on stuff. Uh, Psychic Predator of Salka. Tempo Blurple saved me. I mean, I lost game two, and I just I was like, I, I can't I can't play my man anymore. You know, he's just too good against him. Uh, Blinder Beetle Prime. This guy's ridiculous. I think he should probably cost six. I mean, yeah. he does yeah. so much work. He's, he's a problem. He's a problem. Like, he just comes in like this combo right here. Ridiculous. Like, if anything... Did you get that combo off today? Yeah, I did. And But most of the time, it was like, I'd have General Finbar, Psychic Predator, and him on board, and they're like, Oh my god, you're like a terrapin, you know? Because the thing, the thing that ate my lunch today was absolute incineration. Oh yeah. my gosh. They would just be like, okay, uh, boom, uh, boom, and then uh, all these guys for 3,000, I'm just like, but uh, I'd probably put a darkness element to it, maybe make it a little more controlled and bump it up to about 48 cards, uh, maybe to get a little more control. I did at the last second take out a Kendrick's the Sonic, and I wish I hadn't done that because I might have been able to beat Haven since it's unblockable. Yeah. I might have been able to do that. So that was a bad move on my mistake, but it, it performed well. Uh, thank you, CBH and Earth Power, for the idea. I got to toy around with it and add this guy, and I took, like I said, CBH's device and you know switched one of these out for but it was a great deck. It was, it was a lot of fun. Had a lot of did fun. you ever live the dream with Andromeda or Dragon Knight and had uh, Twin Cannon and General Sky Crusher on board and attack over a Haven or attack into another I had, uh, Monarch? I had uh, against, it was against Megabots. Okay. So it wasn't in that. But I had two Generals and Andromeda. And the guy, <laughs> I think it was from Mason's, he was asking me, so, how, how much are you doing this one right now? I was like, oh, 17,500. <laughs> So it was pretty sick. Uh, so that was good, but yeah, I guess Haven. It was just, it was just that one turn. And that one turn they turned it. And that one turn I was gonna win. So it was, it, it was a lot of fun. It was. All right. So would you think of trying to use this deck again? Maybe another KMC? Yeah. Maybe some tweaks to it. Yeah, I've got a deck I'm kind of working on right now. I'm hoping it'll help out with the meta, kind of give everything some different looks. It uses some less expensive cards. Um, so I'm trying to work on that right now. It's, I don't even think it's tier two yet. Yeah. But I'm working on that. But I think with this, I find a way to put in a third Blinder Beetle Prime. Um, but it, I mean, like I said, it, it was great. Right. Sorry, I'm tired. I'll track your question. Oh, no problems. All right. All right. Well, hopefully you have fun at the KMC. Uh, and if you guys like to test out the deck, feel free, make your own alterations. Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, again, my name is Eric, aka Blaze Belcher, covering for Thunder Sultan. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you, man.